Welcome back race fans to the first annual Cars and Cameras Dust Bowl 500. This video is brought to you by Go Power Sports, your number one stop shop for everything mini bike, go kart, and fun. We've got an eventful evening of racing with three heat races leading up to the Dust Bowl 500. Each heat race will be 10 laps and first and second place from each heat race will move on to the Dust Bowl 500. Heat race one, we have John, Kyle, Jason, and Peyton. Heat race two, we have Kevin, Charles, Greg, and Lonnie. Heat race three, Vasily, Bobby, Braxton, and Joe. So sit back, strap in, get you a snack, and get ready for some racing. Well, Larry, we've got a lot of different carts here, a lot of different style drivers. Uh, anybody could take the cake here at the Cars and Cameras Dust Bowl 500. Uh, really exciting time to be alive. Really exciting time to be on YouTube. Uh, I haven't been this excited since uh, I got my child support lowered back in 97. Uh, got me a Camaro. So, uh, well, let's watch this race. It's going to be really exciting. We've got some big boys in the race. We've got some small boys. We've got some fast carts. We've got some slow carts. So, uh, let's just let the dust fly and the rubber peel. So, I don't think we've seen this much YouTubers uh, in one spot uh, there, Baffle Bill, uh, in, in, in forever. Really, we have Cars and Cameras, which are hosting the race. We have Bill Break and Repeat, Vasily Custom Builds, uh, Junkyard Digs, Tyrannus Customs, uh, and then the beautiful team of Redbeard's Garage. Uh, Redbeard coming off of about three hours worth of sleep in about three weeks getting ready for this race. And a uh, uh, team to watch, you know, a uh, great looking team. Uh, they're... Their head captain, their red beard, just a real solid guy. Looks really good in that cart. Uh, just, I, I can't go on how good he looks. Um, just, it's really anybody's game at this uh, uh, Baffle Bill. Hogfoot Larry, I believe you're right. Uh, we've never seen this style racing on YouTube in the go-kart community, so uh, it's going to be heated. It's going to be fun. A uh, lot of good racers out there, a lot of good looking race carts. And again, yeah, red beard does look mighty fine to me. Let's get this race started with Heat Race 1. John just rocking it out in front there. This being his own track, he knows every groove, every bump in it. He can really finesse that cart around there. Uh, we're switching over to Peyton. We can see him holding up the rear end. Uh, really coming in strong on uh, Bill Breaker and Pete there. Bill Breaker and Pete really getting it sideways in the corner. Uh, just really working in the carts around. Uh, really fun to watch, really fun to, to be a part of this. Oh man, just really sideways right there. And uh, through the uh, turn number one, we can see all the carts just really hooking and getting uh, all these turf tires, uh, which beknownst to me, I thought was illegal, but uh, don't let me hook you up. Yeah, Baffle Bill, uh, we see them coming in strong. The, the track's small to keep speed down. Uh, to, to lower the amount of wrecks, uh, hopefully no wrecks this evening, but uh, so yeah, we got dust flying, we got mud slinging from the, the pre-race track wetting. Uh, really nice uh, driving John's doing here, he's really eating up the turns on this vintage go-kart. Uh, Ike for some reason throwing a, a flag there it looks like. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Ike really knows what's going on. He's got that arm injury. He's probably all hopped up on pain medication. Uh, we don't really know what he was taking. Uh, I think he got the... I'm getting a call in. Yes, he got the lap count off. Thought it was five and it's ten. Uh, so, uh, seems like the race is back on. John's just getting his head back in the game and putting a pedal to the metal. He's just spinning on through the curves right there. You see a little bit of understeer happening and... Uh, uh, track's got some different corners. One corner likes to hold the water, the other corner's really dry. Uh, it was a really different, uh, different style track if you went out and walked it. Uh, John just uh, peeling through there, really rutting up the game here. Uh, coming in strong, holding the lead. It don't seem like he has any real competition. <laughs> We got some beautiful drone footage uh, brought to you by Tranus Customs. Uh, if Tranus didn't have the bird in the air, we wouldn't have no footage. Uh, looks like Braxton of Redbeard's Garage flew Redbeard's drone into a tree and uh, left it there for the birds to play with. So, uh, big shout out to Tranus Customs for putting this bird in the air. Them boys do videos like uh, 
Steven Spielberg or something. That's just beautiful YouTube videos. All these YouTube channels can be found in the video description. You just hit that little drop-down box and uh, click them. Go watch you some. And a uh, bunch of great people here in this summer heat racing. It's just beautiful. Cars and cameras raised. John comes around the turn here and uh, looks like he's confused with uh, what I is telling him. But I can simply tell him, hey, buddy, gear in first. You're on the last lap. Uh, hammer down and bring home the win. He comes sliding through that curve hot and heavy and bam, brings home the win uh, for heat number one. Oh man, what an exciting, exciting race. Looks like we got John from Cars and Cameras in first place, Peyton from Cars and Cameras in second, Kyle in third, and Jason from Bill Break and Repeat in fourth. So that means John and Peyton will move on to the Dust Bowl 500. Let's get race two started. We're joining in on Redbeard's new gravy bone cart. Uh, heard through the grapevine that he had built this cart in three days flat before coming to this Cars and Cameras race. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it's pretty impressive there, um, uh, how put Larry. It's just an amazing cart. It's uh, four big boys. Uh, Redbeard probably has no business being out here seeing how he's the size of a Mack truck. And uh, he was going to go with the big block, I heard. And he decided just to be fair with everybody. And uh, ain't their fault that... Uh, they invented the cheeseburger, and uh, he just stuck with the Tilson 212, so uh, not looking good for him with the competition that he is with. The cart in front of him, the Out of Time uh, Back to the Future cart, does have a modified cam in it, uh, which uh, I thought was against the rules, but don't let me hold you Redbeard gets a pass right up, uh, putting Redbeard in third place. So we tune in with Kevin's car, and he's just zooming around the track on the out of time back to the future car. Looks like he's losing power. Oh, ow, that has to hurt. Lost an engine. It's dead. Uh, car looks like it's handling pretty good. Looks like it's got some understeer, some oversteer happening, but uh, he's really just out there wielding it, having a good time. And uh, you can tell that little Tilson 212 is really struggling. Uh, probably should have went up a little bit taller gear on that axle, uh, get him around the track a little bit smoother. I do agree with you. The, uh, you can hear the engine really having to work. Uh, he's a uh, tall glass of water, and that cart is just really, uh, really struggling to pull him around the track. this wet corner and oh man just gets it plumb sideways and slides right off the track. Lonnie is able to take the lead over Redbeard again. Uh, that that one corner likes to hold the water it does seem like that on the uh, pre-race wetting and uh, these slicks just uh, you know they want to eat it up. Man did it a second time that's embarrassing. That ain't something to call your family about. Um, got her plumb sideways. Redbeard looks like he's not sure if he should get back on the track or not. Uh, don't know what the rules are being in the first race. So he's gonna keep hammering down. It looks like he just keep uh, gravy boating around that track. Charles just eating up the track with that dirt track race car. Man, he is a pro. Lonnie's hot on his tail, flying around with Redbeard coming in last. That wraps up heat number two with Charles in first, Lonnie in second, and Red Beard in third. Kevin did not finish because of a blown engine. So uh, basically, big tires on the back, small tires on the front, not the way to go. Because <laughs> I got to really power into it. Oh uh, yeah. I need lower gearing to really. It was rough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Charles with the big tires all on the right side and small tires on the left kept it perfect the whole time. They said my rotor wasn't spinning, so my key came out on my brake rotor. I could tell, 
I could tell because <laughs> I couldn't whip it around or nothing. But it was fun though, a lot of fun. So for heat race number two, we have first place Charles, second place Lonnie, third place Redbeard, and fourth place Kevin. That means Charles and Lonnie are moving on to the Dust Bowl 500. For our third and final heat race, we have Vasily and Bobby leading the pack with Braxton and Joe in the rear. Vasily is borrowing one of Redbeard's carts, the dingo that Lonnie was driving earlier. Let's get this race underway. Trying to keep her straight in the straightaways, just getting a little willy nilly. And Braxton comes and passes him on the inside with that little man code 405, uh, pushing the heat, bringing the heat, pushing Vasily, forcing him on the inside. Now, Vasily is on an unfamiliar cart in unfamiliar territory, so um, so we can't blame him too much. Oh, we've got a slide out right there on these slits. Probably not the best car to be out here racing on this packed dirt down here in North Carolina, but uh, doing the best you can just. Whipping it through them curves and trying to hold her straight. Holding her to the wood and the straight. He's really giving her all the beans that she has. Uh, these little Tilson 212s, they really pump out the heat when you put the throttle down to them and let that McCoonie flow. Let's get a back shot here. We got Bill Brake and Repeat about sliding off the course, but keeping her steady with that long go kart. They got that air road and uh, coming through turn one and uh, just getting her sideways a little bit, trying to hold her the best they can, just racing her hearts out. Bless her hearts. There's a bunch of beautiful souls out here tearing up the dirt here in North Carolina in this heat. Another beautiful drone shot by the boys of Trannis. Uh, looks like Trannis is off the course. Bobby got, got uh, took a turn off and might have some trouble with his cart. We don't know yet. Uh, looks like he's slowing down and uh, maybe even getting off. We don't know what the deal is, but Braxton's still holding the pack. Vasily coming in hot on the rear. And then we got Bill Breaker and Pete holding down third place. Braxton, Team Redbeard's Garage, wins C3. For heat race number three, we got Braxton in first, Vasily in second, Joe in third, and Bobby in fourth. That means Braxton and Vasily will move on to the Dust Bowl 500. Vasily, borrowing Lonnie's cart, will have to find another cart to proceed on. Okay, race fans, as we noticed, there's seven racers on the track, and that's because Peyton was hoodooed out of his second place victory from Ike when the lap count got mishapped. So there'll be seven racers in this Dust Bowl 500. So for our lineup, we have Braxton and Lonnie up front, Vasily and Peyton, Charles and John, and Kyle at the rear. Let's get this race underway. for the Dust Bowl 500. Braxton and Lonnie's really just fighting it out up front. These are very similar carts, folks. Got the same tar, same engine. It really comes down to drivers. I think you're right. Uh, this is a really tight race. We got Lonnie and Braxton up front. Uh, Braxton's really handling the curves really good. Oh, man, there comes the uh, out-of-time go-kart getting in second place, pushing his foot through the floorboard. And uh, i tell you what, if that cart sees 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious stuff. You know what I mean. There goes turn one. Uh, Braxton eating the inside and uh, Charles going wide. Uh, Braxton just really giving it his best. Oh man, John just passed him with a little pizza cutter tire, just carving his way into third place. Going to turn three, and Braxton's holding his own. He's holding that fourth place really hard and uh, just doing the best they can. This is a good hot race. There's Lonnie's rear shot. Got Charles coming hard up on him. Is uh, Charles going to get the pass on the out of time? Uh, back to the future car. Man, just blasting on the inside there. Almost pushing Lonnie right out of the way. Saying, this is my spot. Let me take it. Get out of the way. Get on the back one. You can see the engine smoking. That's probably where uh, old Junkyard Digs didn't have no oil in it. And uh, locked up the engine. Look at John on that vintage car. That's probably somewhere in the 70s car there. John... Uh, geared up like a cross rocket rider on a rough rider movie. 
uh, got the neck braces, got the whole whole kit and caboodle. The only thing he ain't protecting those shiny little kneecaps. Uh, but he's really driving the fire out of that little thing. The little skinny cars, they got them curved cars. Look at the throwing a rooster right there, coming hard up on them. These, these cars really performed in this heat. Nothing uh, really broke other than uh, driver error with the oil and uh, Red Beard losing that key out of his brakes. But these cars really just took a beating and kept on ticking. You know, they just uh, really slamming on them. Oh man, John just passed the front of the rooster right on his face saying, This is my house. Get outside. some sort of caution getting thrown. Uh, they're just going to putt around until, uh, until the hammer gets thrown back down so they can just speed on into victory. Race is back in. Uh, looked like we had a little fender bender on the curve out there, but uh, Lonnie's still holding down third place. John in second and Charles in first. Uh, them little pizza cutters, I tell you what, there's carving the earth, and it looks like Braxton getting caught up in the pack, getting lapped up a little bit. Uh, uh, this ain't his game, but he's uh, really bracing his heart out. And we got a little clog up in the front there with the little wheelbarrow with tars on it, little four horsepower super, really holding its own out here. Uh, out of time, it seems to be falling behind. Uh, th that engine must took some beating from uh, Kevin from Junkyard Digs, and uh, it looks like he's out of the race. That engine must have been out of time. Switching over to Braxton. Uh, Braxton's really holding her deep. Uh, he's just hammering down, you know, putting his foot through the floorboard, peeling the sketchers off his feet, and he just really racing his heart out out here. He's probably tired, didn't get much, much sleep this weekend. I heard them boys at Red Beard's Garage really pumped out the, uh, pumped out the carts real fast, and uh, Braxton going a little wide there, but uh, still just he's not giving up. He's just coming through turn one right there, and oh man, got on the bank a little bit. Oh, he just whipped the 360, and he's back right in the race. He ain't giving up, he ain't no wimp. Uh, Braxton just still going in the game. And, uh, oh, came in that last turn hot and got a, a traffic jam. Uh, John puts him right out of the way and just throws Rooster Tail right in his face saying, uh, hey, get up. What's your Redbeard doing? Getting a hot dog? Uh, boy, oh, boy, this is uh, some, some good racing right here. Really exciting stuff. Uh, Braxton Gillett and Lonnie by and, uh, oh, and they just fell in fourth place. Folks, uh, we got Braxton in last. We got uh, Will Barrel with Tars, <laughs> old Kyle in, uh, in third place, and Lonnie holding down second, and John holding the pack up there. Uh, that little vintage cart really done its work. Its creators will be proud. And that is it for the Dust Bowl 500. So I gotta say, I've had a blast out here announcing this race. Uh, I'm Baffle Bill and uh, Hogfoot Larry's my partner here and uh, we just want to give a big old shout out to the boys down at Cars and Cameras putting this whole shindig dig on. Uh, it's been a real good blast and we've had a fun fun time watching these uh, races, being a commentary and just watching the heat get thrown out here guys. So a uh, massive shout out, can't wait to next year and a big old shout out to Go Power Sports for making these carts fast, fun and awesome and reliable. Uh, let's go on down to the, to the winter circle. Dust Bowl 500, I had a blast. What do you guys think? That Kyle made third. Lonnie made second. Yeah. Second. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, great time. Thanks for having me out. Uh, the Manco Interceptor uh, Four Horse did a great job and just kept kept plugging away, kept knocking them off. Absolutely. Lonnie? Yeah. Is that a dingo? That is a dingo. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. <laughs> improved slightly. Yeah. <laughs> Slicks uh, on the dingo. Yeah. It was awesome. I mean, it's stage one, two, twelve, and uh, performed just the way we wanted it to. Uh, just a little bit less than yours did. <laughs> a little bit less. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was kind of a race of like whoever can hold together, just like last year's race. Yeah. I had a good time. Like, I think 20 laps was the perfect amount. Uh, cart handled real good. I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, we made a trophy. 
I'm obviously not going to keep my own trophy. I'm going to give it to, uh, to Lonnie here. We get to take it home. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but thanks for coming, guys. Lonnie. Appreciate it. Weekend, yeah, dude. this has been Kyle, really fun. Always. Thank you. Uh, we're going to Red Beards in October, and uh, that should be a good time. Shout out to Tyrannus Customs. Uh, Vaseline builds. Vaseline builds. Vaseline builds. Uh, rather be welding. Um, junkyard digs. Build, break, repeat. Uh, it's been a fun weekend, and I uh, can't wait to do it again. Can't wait to have you up in Tennessee. Thanks, man. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Did something different, uh, commentating with Hogfoot Larry and Baffle Bill. Hope you enjoyed the video. A massive shout out to Go Power Sports for making these videos happen. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to get our carts ready in time without the boys in Texas holding it down. And massive shout out to Cars and Cameras, John and Ike, for inviting us out to this race. Had a blast. Uh, everything performed like we thought it would. And uh, it was just awesome to be able to, to get out there and Building that cart in three days, I just wanted to see it go on the track. I was happy with the uh, turnout of everything, and I wish my axle key would have stayed in my brake, but, uh, you know, you can't win them all. So, uh, massive, uh, massive shout-out to them guys. Huge shout-out to Trannis Customs of Silly, uh, Rather Be Weldon, Junkyard Digs, Bill Break and Repeat, all the guys out there. Uh, had a blast with them, and I uh, can't wait to do it again in October here at Red Beard's Garage. Uh, we've got some crazy racing for you guys, so stay tuned. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Check out those links in the video description. We love you guys, and God bless.